Right now we are in the Brain Stimulation Laboratory at the Donders Institute. Uh, here we do TMS research, which stands for Transcranial Magnetic Stimulation. And we also do TDCS or TACS research, which stands for Transcranial Alternating or Direct Current Stimulation. Both of them are yeah, brain stimulation techniques. Instead of measuring something, like with other methods, uh, we actually are able to um, interfere or uh, disturb different processes going on in the brain. From this lab, from TMS specifically, um, we have been able to gain insights into uh, motor visual um, integration. Uh, for example, when you have to reach out and grab something. Um, also sleep and the, the role of the prefrontal cortex in that. Uh, attention and most recently we are doing uh, language production and language comprehension research. Uh, so recently we've combined a lot of electrical brain stimulation with fMRI, uh, which allows us to actually see the changes that we cause in the brain activity uh, while people are doing something, which is very important because of course if you stimulate somebody and you don't see anything happening on the outside, you don't know what happens in the brain, so you need to measure that. Well, these techniques are mainly used um, for determining causality, as we call it, in the brain. So normally we take a, a brain scan using MRI or MEG and we see brain activity that correlates with some function. Uh, but it's very difficult to assess whether that brain region or that brain activity is necessary for that behavior. Uh, so with TMS, for instance, we can disrupt that brain activity and then we can see whether a behavior does not uh, work anymore, whether somebody is impaired in that type of behavior. Uh, and with these electrical simulation techniques, we can try to increase uh, the ability of some behaviors or some cognitive capacities. So currently uh, I'm doing a, a picture naming experiment in which uh, participants have to just simply name pictures. And while they're doing this, uh, they will be stimulated in, in different brain uh, regions. And if we see an increase in the processing time that is required for them to name a picture, then we can say Bicycle. that uh, we have disrupted processing in a brain region that seems to be critical Jeez. or very much involved in this task. What these types of techniques can be used for is, for instance, to entrain different brain areas, making the communication flow easier between them. Uh, so one example is that we uh, recently did is we tried to increase people's control over emotional behavior. And we know that that is basically implemented by the prefrontal cortex and the motor cortex and they synchronize their activity if this control over behavior is successful. So in this case we applied transcranial alternating current stimulation with electrical fields applied to the prefrontal cortex and the motor cortex and when we synchronized these electrical fields you saw that people became better at overriding their emotional behavior. So better at controlling their emotional actions which in the long term can be of course or might be beneficial for treatment uh, of anxiety disorders, for instance, where people have difficulty in controlling their emotions. Potential for society, um, I mean, yeah, it can be used as a confirmatory method for um, any research field, basically. So it pushes science and knowledge forward um, in general.